How's it going, guys? Our Triple XC here, and um, we have Digimon gameplay today, and I'm really excited about it. We uh, got the starter decks in. Uh, we got the red, yellow, and blue. Um, the opening is on the channel. If you want to see the list and what all's in the cards, please go check out that video. Uh, if not, you already know. We have a battle between red and uh, yellow today. Um, really fun. Uh, kind of got close there at the end. It's actually a pretty good game. And uh, if you guys want to see more about uh, more games or more about Digimon. Please keep liking the videos. Uh, last Digimon di video outperformed my last two Bakugan videos. So, uh, if that's what y'all want to see, that's what I'm gonna give you. So, thanks for watching and enjoy the game. All right, uh, we are here at the table and we are going to face off with the red deck and the yellow deck. Um, I'm gonna play red. Dylan slash Visual slash Visivo slash Visua. Sometimes I don't know is going to be uh, playing yellow. Um, so, if this is your first time watching, uh, I will have the cards, the English translation cards, put up on the screen as we play them. So hopefully you can kind of keep track. Um, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward game. If you guys have comments or questions, uh, post them down in the comment section and we can get to that. I'm sure some other people know how to play the game will be there. Uh, we're going to roll to see who goes first. Just hire one. Yeah. Uh, he rolled a six. six. Two, you can choose. I'll matter. go first. All right, so you draw, oh no, we do security, security cards first. It's five of them. So you have five, five health and then one attack to you to lose or to win on your opponent. Uh, and then after that, you can draw your five. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and these are straight starter decks. These are not any, um, Anything added, any proxies or anything. Uh, so, first player starts out at zero, so you can kind of do what you do what you want. First phase is raising phase, so he can hatch his egg, and that is a Tokemon. Tokemon will go into this cat, Galmon or something like that. Yeah, it's vanilla three thousand. So every time, every time you every time you digivolve, you draw a card, which is probably the best part about this game. <laughs> so I'll draw and then I will pitch ball again. Got some on. And that'll put him at two and in my turn. Yep. All right, so it comes to me. I'm gonna draw for turn, hatch, Coromon there. And I have Dracomon, so I'm gonna play him. That gives me a draw. Uh, and I have two to work with. Three. Um, I'm gonna go into a Corjamon here. That puts me at zero. And then with the zero, um, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna drop a Bergamon for four. Move it up to four here. Yeah, the drawing is nice. Yes. It's very nice for this game. It's you. Um, so this will come active. Yep. So raising phase lets you either evolve or hatch things, bring it out, or put things out into the play. Evolving is just part of the normal phases of the game. So I'm at a four, and I can go to a five. Uh, Angemon? Magna Angemon. Magna Angemon <clears throat> I have yet to play regular Angemon. Right. Uh, these two don't have inheritables, so I'm going to cover them up. Yep. Same. Make it easier for myself. Uh, once you raise, you don't hatch until your next turn. Yep. And... I need to keep that. Uh, that took me down three. So that'll put me at zero. No. No, you're at four. You're at one. I'm at one? Yep. Yeah. Um, I'll swing. Alright, so he can't attack this because it's not tapped or anything, and he can't attack this because it's in the raising area completely off limits. So he's attacking my stack, and he hits this, uh, which... This card, if you hit it in the security, uh, these little symbols here activate security effects and it lets me have security attack plus one next turn. I forgot the name of it though. 
But that's what you hit. Anything and else? And yeah, I'm going to Digivolve into was it Magnamon? Holy Dramon. There's a couple different names. Yeah. Draw a card, and that'll put me over into one. That's only two to evolve. That's nuts. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So draw. I'm going to bring out my Corgimon, which is my blocker. Um, I can't hatch because I pulled something out. Let's see. Um, four. Okay. He only gave me one to work with. So. At the moment, he cannot topple this. Yeah, I can't kill that. To attack with a blocker, you have to use uh, two memory, by the way. With these blockers. Oh, it's not any blocker. It's just these two. With the blockers we have. The ones in the, the ones in the structure decks. They're all the same. Um, let's see. I'm going to get this ready. Uh, I'm going to go to War, uh, Metal Greymon for three and move over to two over there. Okay. I'll hatch. And draw. And ready this. This has an inheritable. Um, I'll evolve here. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Angemon. Put me at zero. Draw again. Yep. What's, you know what Angemon's uh, inheritable is? Uh... No, not the top of my head. Right. I don't know what this one is. I don't know what this one. We'll is. look it up in a second. Can't attack anything. This one minus something by a thousand if I attack. Yeah. Yeah, should be good for now. So we have Magnamon to security. All right. Um. Let me think about if I can. Let me pull up my uh, translations. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I want to block that or not. Because um, next turn, he's going to get me pretty good. I'm going to block that. So I'm going to block it with my Corgimon. Obviously, it's going to get killed because that's 12,000. So all this stuff goes away. And no attack goes through. You pass in a zero. Yeah, let me read the Angemon real quick. If your security is four or more, you get plus one memory when you attack. Right, with him. Yeah. So you're passing? Uh, no, because I don't want to leave it at zero. Mm, okay. If you pass your turn and you still have uh, memory, um, your opponent's just going to automatically inherit three. So that way they can do stuff and you can't leave them at zero. Actually, no, I'll put you at three. I just play that. All right, that's fine. There is summoning sickness in this game, so this couldn't attack even if I played it. Right, summoning sickness on stuff that you just drop straight off the bat. All right, I'm gonna hatch Coromon here and play an Agumon. Draw for that. Um, I have three to work with, but I also have weird cards. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't have any level fours to work with besides that Corgimon I had. Probably would have been a better idea to keep it now that I think about it. Um, I don't just want to drop things willy nilly. Uh, 10 or 12. That does that. Uh, I could have been smarter. I will say that. Um, I'm going to play Starlight Explosion, which uh, kind of buffs my stack uh, by 7,000. So if he attacks me, whatever he flips over, if it's a Digimon, is going to be plus 7,000, which is a heck of a lot. It's basically saying don't attack me unless you really, really want to. Uh, that Holy German can get through some of that stuff. Um, that is two, so that puts me down to one. Um... And 
I'm going to just drop. Yeah. I'm going to just drop another Metal Greymon. Uh, and that's six. You're at six. Yeah. Yep. And that'll have to do it. I'll draw and raise this edge one. Fortunately, I don't have a Patamon out. Um, I'm at six. Hmm. This will come tapped. That'll move me down to here. Hmm. My board's looking pretty solid. Yeah. Fine with where it's at. Uh, let's see if I can pull some shenanigans. So when I attack with this one, I'll get a memory since I'm over four. Right, with the Angemon. Right. No, if you're below four, you get a memory, right? No, it says if you're above four. If you're above four, you get a memory. It's the... Oh, a memory, not a recovery. Okay. Yeah, that's... And your woman. Yeah. And I'm gonna swing with this. All right. It's plus seven thousand. It's not a Digimon, but uh, I get to play this for free. It's a Yagami Taichi. I get a thousand on my turn for each Digimon. So that's good. I'll go up a memory. Mm hmm Now put me at four. Hmm. I wanted to try and kill one of those great ones this turn, but I cannot. Yeah, if you had. Fortunately. If you had Seraph Mine, you could. This is true. Um, I'm going to add this plus 3k to Magnamon. Okay. And swing at security with it. Okay. So he's at 15. 7 plus 6. That's 13. 13, you're 15. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he gets through that too without a problem. <laughs> And it might have to be my turn. I mean, you might as well swing with that. Unless you're trying to save it to evolve it or something. Uh, no, I can. I mean, it's going to die if it hits something, but. Yeah. I'm if not. you put me down to one. <laughs> yeah, I'll swing with it. Alright, yeah. Alright, so yeah, I kill that. Uh, but he takes that. So I've got one, and I haven't attacked his security yet. So. <laughs> We're in a bad spot, people. I'm going to bring out Argamon. Um, and we have to do things here. Uh, you passed, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get three. Uh, and I, I really just have a crappy hand, to be honest with you. Um, so... I'm plus a thousand. So I'm going to swing one Greymon here. Got it. I'm killing your Magna Angelmon. It's fine. And then I'm going to swing Agamon the stack. Um, Figure out what that does. Hey, this is the one that's minus 2,000. It is. But I don't know what it's... Uh, I think it, I think it just doesn't use the main. So it's Angelmon. Oh, add this card to your hand. Yeah. I'll do that. Cool, and then uh, I will swing last one to stack here. 8,000. 8,000 stack 7, to 7,000. Cool. I survived that somehow. Um, you haven't played anything? I haven't played anything, so I'm going to go and play... Uh, something cheap. <laughs> uh, Piamon. Two. For two. Oh wow! So that I can actually do more. Do more. All right. So I'm gonna play a little uh, Dracomon here for three. So one, two, three. So you have two. Okay. I will raise another. Draw a card. Yep. I tap Magamon. I'm going to evolve this into a Patamon. Okay. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Refresh myself what this one does. Okay. Um, 
unfortunately, I don't have a level four to go into. Right. I do have that. I don't want to play it yet. This guy's got a fire tornado and something can attack. Yeah. This has minus no, this has minus, oh, minus three. three security. Okay, yeah. And then So that'll put me at zero. So it's minus three security, but like technically he has plus zero zero security attack normally, and then like you can increase that number so you can attack more security cards, but he just off the bat subtracts it by three. So no matter what I do, I'm gonna be starting at a a negative, if that makes sense. Actually, we're recording, so. What? I, I want to. I could. I could win right here, actually. You could win here. Yeah. But I will swing with this and take this out. Okay. And then this has minus three. Right. And then I'll play Heaven's Charm to minus 2,000 here. Kill that. Oh, crap, okay. <laughs> uh, the minus 1,000 from this for me attacking, oh, it doesn't matter, because that, that's going to put me over to 2. Right. And it will be your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw. Turn was about to die. <laughs> Did it die? Mm -hmm. That's kind okay. Of uh, camera's about to die, so let's go. All right. You want to get plus five k until the end of your turn. Add this card to your hand. Okay. So his security is buffed right now. Which um, is very good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, kind of. I mean, I lose next turn anyway. <laughs> I think security. That'll die. That'll die. And then. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to win here. Because uh, you have exact even, and I can't kill that. Yeah, I mean, I just kind of have to pass here, and then he, uh, I'll let him finish it out. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, raise this Petamon, draw a card. Uh, you on. Got to get him on. One, two. Um, I will swing with this. Swing. Tie, which and doesn't really help me. He I'll swings and hits me. Uh, and that's game. So, cool. Uh, that is the red and yellow decks. Hope you all enjoyed that. Um, it kind of got a little crazy when I had like five things out here. Um, but yellow is really cool. It's really fun. And he didn't even do any Seraphimon shenanigans, which is like the main part of the deck. Uh, but uh, red, I didn't even get my War Greymon. So um, we might have a couple more battle videos coming out. Probably so, because Digimon stuff seems interesting right now. And I'll be doing that. So if you like this, uh, like the video and leave a comment what you thought. If you have any questions, again, uh, I'll be happy to answer those down in the comment section. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.